What's up, math scholars and math haters? This is Mr. W. Today we're going to tackle question 18 in the fifth grade math questions that North Carolina released this past school year. The question tells us that Wayne exercised for five-sixths of an hour in the morning and one-third of an hour in the evening. And we're trying to find out how much more of an hour did Wayne spend exercising in the morning than in the evening. So in order to do really well in a problem like this, it'll be good for you to know how to translate a problem, especially a word problem like this, and then also how to subtract fractions with different denominators, because that's where this problem is going to take us. So to start with, I'm going to underline this word more, because when I see the word more, that tells me that I need to do some addition. Very poorly drawn plus sign, but you get it. And specifically, since it says how much more of an hour did Wayne spend exercising in the morning than in the evening, I know that how I'm going to write my addition sentence however much time he spent exercising in the evening plus however much more time we're trying to find equals how much time he spent exercising in the morning. And so now I'm going to plug in some of the numbers that we know. So in the evening we know that he spent one-third of an hour and I know that we're adding something but we don't know what that is because the question is asking how much more of an hour Wayne spent exercising in the morning than in the evening and we know that that's going to equal 5 sixths. So we know that 1 third plus something equals 5 sixths. And now I'm going to use my fact families, and I'm going to say that if I know that 1 third plus something equals 5 sixths, then I also know that 5 sixths minus 1 third equals that same number that I, that I don't quite know yet. And it's at this point that we need to recognize that we're trying to subtract fractions with different denominators, so we need to get these denominators to be equal in order to finish this problem. And whenever I'm looking at two different denominators, my first question is, does the small one fit evenly into the big one, and if so, how many times? So is there some number that 3 times that number equals 6? And there is. In fact, it's 2. So I'm going to multiply this fraction by 2 and this fraction by 2. And 5 sixths minus 1 third is going to transform into 5 sixths minus 1 times 2 is 2. 3 times 2 is 6. So now I'm subtracting 5 sixths minus 2 sixths. And if um, anyone has seen my other videos where I do something like this, I will always say that when we subtract fractions with the same denominator, it's like subtracting 5 inches minus 2 inches. We subtract our numbers, but keep inches the same. And we're going to do the same thing with that denominator down here because we're treating it like our unit of measurement. So 5 sixths minus 2 sixths equals 5 minus 2 is 3. We keep sixths the same. So we end up with 3 sixths. And now all I have to do is simplify this. And I have to see, is there some number that goes into both 3 and 6? And there is. It's the number 3. So I'm going to divide this time by 3, divide by 3, and I end up with 3 divided by 3 equals 1, 6 divided by 3 equals 2. So my answer is 1 half. And now, at this point, I just need to know how to plug it into these grids. Because North Carolina made this question so that we didn't have our multiple answer choices. They did it so that we would have to actually figure it out and um, write it and bubble it. So I would do 1 slash 2. I would look for my 1 bubble, I would look for my slash bubble, and I would look for my 2 bubble in right below each of these symbols, and I would do that. And also, another answer that could work, they would also take 0.5, or maybe even 0 0.5. And then I would have to find my 0 bubble, my decimal point bubble, and my five bubble. So either of these are going to be two ways that you could be able to bubble this in and still get the right answer, and it would still read it as this person did the question correctly.